Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, my wife's channel has been doing fantastic the last month or so. Uh, gained like 7,000 subscribers. I mean, we've just been very happy, you know, with, with the progress with her channel. Uh, and I have not done a troll video in a while. Uh, and the more views you get, the more impressions YouTube gives you, know, then the more trolls there are out there. So let's look. Uh, and I, I started this a couple of weeks ago. I started um, saving up some of the troll comments uh, before I delete them. Uh, <laughs> I, I enjoy reading them because some of them are funny. Uh, but anyway, um, I typically just delete them. Uh, and I don't, we don't mind people having opinions and stuff like that other than what we, just don't tell us what we're doing is wrong. Uh, you know, this is the United States. You, you, you cook the way you want to cook and we'll cook the way we want to cook. Um, you know, people have been cooking here on this continent for thousands of years. I doubt that there were too many uh, Native Americans that would go up and uh, tell the other Native American, hey, you know, the way you're cooking that buffalo is wrong. You need to have uh, some... Uh, plastic gloves, you know, you're going to get some germs and you're going to spread it, you know, people have been cooking a long time and, and staying alive. So, um, just, you know, don't tell us the way we're doing it is wrong. It's just the way we choose to do it and you do it your way. I call these the sugar people, okay, the sugar people. I have never seen so much sugar used in a cake and icing with margarine rather than butter used in a recipe. Yikes. Uh, and they had a big fat frowny face. The fat, I don't know if you've seen the fat frowny face, but they gave us the fat frowny face. And yeah, here's what's so crazy is, you know, scientists will tell you sugar's bad for you, and then they'll turn around and say, well, artificial sweeteners are better, and then they'll turn around and say, well, no, artificial uh, sweeteners are not better. You need to use sugar, and then, or you, you need to use lard's bad for you, and then they'll turn around and say, no, you, you need to use lard and don't use... You know, today's experts are tomorrow's idiots. So I don't worry too much. People live longer than they have ever lived before. Uh, apparently, we have some kind of grasp, you know, of, of what's okay to eat and what's not. Uh, and again, like I said, people have been eating for thousands of years and staying alive and eating in all kind of conditions. So anyway, uh, the, the sugar people. Uh, so we got a sugar person and the margarine person. Uh, the margarine people are very, the margarine people and the anti-Crisco people go together. Um, they are very, we'll, we'll put those in, in a category there. They are very concerned about your health. They want to let you know that margarine is uh, one molecule away from plastic and stuff like that. And, you know, my reply to that is always, well, you're like one molecule away from being a monkey. <laughs> so, I'm, not, I'm not a chemist, but I'm not too concerned about that either. Margarine. It's hydrogenated. It's bad because it's solid at body temperature and clogs up the circulatory system. Uh, the introduction of margarine, after the introduction of margarine, heart attacks and circulation issues statistically begin to skyrocket as people's lifespans grew longer and longer. Here's one. Mayo is nasty. Mayo is nasty. I'm going to call these the nasty people. Anybody that comes on a cooking thing and they start using the word nasty, or gross or you know something like that that's pretty much a key to get you automatically uh, deleted or removed from the channel blocked from the channel next one I would substitute real butter for that margarine that stuff is natty n-a-d-t-y natty and extremely unhealthy again there's a margarine person concern for my health and I appreciate that you guys are driving me crazy moving that camera around geez leave the camera alone please okay we'll leave the camera alone has anyone anyone that has ever seen salmon being canned does not eat it my sister tells me that's the way it is with anything but fresh packed pickles so fresh packed pickles are okay but anything else in a can uh, my mom always made salmon patties with fresh coho when I was a kid and fried them in her new 1960s Sunbeam electric frying pan. That's kind of nice. That kind of endears you to the person. You know, they're telling a personal story. Uh, I never liked them, but in my house, if you ever said you didn't like something, my dad would serve it to you and make you eat it. I learned to keep my mouth shut. 
<laughs> so that, that's kind of an ugly turn to that story. Um, but anyway, he says he never ate, he ate a little of everything, but never canned salmon. And if you knew the way most food was, any food, hamburger, whatever, I mean, you know, cows have to be slaughtered, uh, food has to be processed, you probably wouldn't need anything. Oh, please, get to the recipe. I don't care what mama did. I can't understand you. Show us the recipe. Uh, I like to call these people, their category is they are the recipe police. Uh, the recipe police. They are the ones that all they want is the recipe. And if you ever say anything about cooking anything, you better give a recipe. And they automatically ask for it. And they, all they care about is recipes. They probably got like 500 million recipes and I bet they don't cook anything. Here's another one. Four minutes in, nothing yet. You need a quicker recipe. There's another recipe police person. Uh, they want you to, you know, cut to the chase, which is kind of weird because Tammy's channel is the, the, the motto is we cook like mama did and telling a Southern lady not to talk about her mama, uh, and get to the recipe, shut your mouth and get to the recipe. You're not, you're on the wrong channel. You need to find a channel that's just about recipes. Uh, don't you have a cat to give the tuna wa water to? Such a waste. That's such a waste. Uh, and then, and then they got even, then they went straight to the chase. Two cans of tuna for two people, you eat big. <laughs> you eat big. Um, well, okay. Uh, but there are some people now that you got the, the, the people you can't throw anything away. Uh, I'll call them the waste police. This, if we, if we make something, we don't throw away anything on the camera. You know, because somebody is going to, oh, uh, uh, we use those, we used to use those, you know, okay. Uh, but anyway, don't throw away your tuna water. I can feel my arteries clogging. I can feel my arteries clogging. Um, if you're watching a channel where they fry stuff and they eat, you know, red meat and you're making a cake called Hershey's Syrup Chocolate Cake from the 1970s, uh, and you're worried about your arteries clogging. I, don't, I mean, I don't understand what you think is going to happen when you, if you're concerned about your arteries clogging, this is, you know, you don't need to watch. Now, why are you concerned about how to fry something? They think they're health inspectors. And if you have a, you know, something sitting out that you clean with, you're not supposed to have that sitting out on the counter, you know, or you, you know, they're like the restaurant people or whatever. So, um, I hope none of those people go into restaurants and see how it's really done. Enjoyed the recipe, but not the advertising of the cookbook. Thanks for sharing. Uh, they threw the thanks for sharing. That's nice. I'll call them the purists. They want you to do videos purely for the enjoyment of them. Do not ask them to subscribe. Do not try to sell anything. I mean, my wife makes cookbooks and sells cookbooks. For her channel because people ask for her recipes because that's the recipe police so when the recipe police asks for recipes and you make them recipes and then you sell the recipes because so many people watch your channel then you have some people that think that that is like selling out you are selling out you're not natural regular person anymore you have gone over to the dark side and now you are in it for the money someone needs to get organized um, I don't know how to classify that. Some people are very, again, they want, they're kind of the recipe police. They want it to be very streamlined, very professional. They just want to watch, you know, but Tammy is a person that is a mom cooking in her. That's the, her, her channel. That's what it is. It's a mom cooking in her, in her kitchen. She starts from nothing and starts cooking. And she might start cooking and go, you know what? I'm out of butter. Uh, I need to use this, or you know what? I'm out of I'm out of this. I need, and so she'll change the recipe and change what she's doing because that's what people really do in their kitchen when they cook. She's trying to teach people how to cook in their kitchen, uh, and some people don't like that. They say, "Oh, she's unorganized. Or she didn't have all the bowls out. She didn't have the the teaspoons lined up in a row." That's not the way she does her channel. So some people don't like that. They're the we're calling the organization police. Gag. Uh, <laughs> that's not a good start. Gag. Uh. Uh, why not use real cocoa? Sorry, I can't watch. Oh, don't watch. Um, no. No. I'm like talking to a dog. No. No. Two no's. No Crisco. That's bad for your arteries. Uh, thank you. Bad for your arteries. Uh, now this one's funny. This one is like a chain of consciousness. The woman starts watching the video. I can just see it in my mind's eye. 
she's, she's an older lady, I can tell by what she says here. And she's watching the video, and the whole time she's watching the video, she's just sitting here typing away. She's watching the video and typing at the same time, just her thoughts. Uh, I grew up poor. My mom made jack mackerel patties and called them salmon patties. We were just happy to get meat or fish with a meal. We did not get meat with every meal like today. Monday was wash day, so Mama had to heat water and on a wood cook stove. And while she had to keep a fire going that long to heat the water, and she would make a pot of pintos on the back of the stove. So Monday, we knew we would get pinto beans, fried potatoes, excuse me, cornbread. That was the good old days. The good old days when we did not have bills, rent, cell phone, and all that, uh, all that easy stuff. And she's just typing along, and you're just thinking, wow, this is really cool. The lady's telling us a story of how things used to be. You know, and then in the middle of it, she just stops. And then she just says, guess what? I really can't watch any more of this video. When you buy anything from the store or grow it yourself, you have to wash it first. And she did not wash the onion, so I, and then she just stopped. <laughs> and then she posted it. It was like, it's like, put on the brakes. She didn't wash her onions. I'm gone, you know. <laughs> That is so funny, um, and we've talked. You know, we've talked about this before. You know, onions are one of the things uh, that you have least to worry about as far as washing. Uh, we do know that. We do have education. We understand. You know, washing things and stuff like that. Uh, but a lot of the stuff, uh, the, the way we look at it is this: if it has dirt or something on it that you can see, wash it off, because that's what water does. It washes off dirt. Um, it doesn't wash off bacteria, it doesn't wash off germs, stuff like that. Uh, now we do wash like lettuce. Now there are certain things that you have to wash because you're not going to cook them. So you probably should wash them if they look dirty or if they are dirty, like lettuce is a big, you know, everybody knows that. I understand this is recipe from back in the day, but it is a sugar overload. And then she has in capital letters, diabetes, diabetes, twice. <laughs> Plus excessive weight gain. You could use similar ingredients, but a more up-to-date, slimmed-down version with a little sugar. The recipe, the name of the cake that she got from a 1970s cookbook was the Hershey's, and it was made by the Hershey's company, the Hershey's syrup, uh, the Hershey's chocolate syrup cake from the 1970s. It has a ton of sugar. Uh, if you have diabetes, I urge you, do not eat that. If you have diabetes, you don't need to be eating something that's called the Hershey's chocolate syrup cake. You, you should just know that. That's like somebody that has a peanut allergy, and we make peanut butter bars. Um, somebody coming on there and going, you shouldn't make this because people have peanut allergies. Well, people that have peanut, peanut allergies do not eat the peanut butter bars. If you're diabetic, don't eat the Hershey's chocolate syrup cake. Uh, I, please don't do that. Um, here's one we opened a can of beans and they like stroked out. Uh, it's so easy to make beans. Why would you open a can? And then she proceeded to tell us how to make beans. Like we don't know how to make beans. Uh, so she's going to rescue the canned bean eaters and explain to us how to, you know, make the beans. We know how to make beans. Sometimes though we want beans like now. And if we have something, you know, we might open a can of beans. And I know that's, you know, bad to some people, but we... From time to time, eat something out of a can. Disposable gloves. Here's another clean police. Disposable gloves are not expensive. It's a good idea to use them when you're cooking for anyone other than yourself. Um, and they are not expensive. You're, you're correct. But I'm going to tell you what's even less expensive than disposable gloves is washing your hands. So we'll wash our hands. Um, yuck. This, this one's funny. Disgusting yuck. My dad's wife, not my stepmother, but not my stepmother, Attempted this. Yuck, 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 can fish nope. <laughs> Some kid. <laughs> Apparently the stepmom made the salmon patties and they didn't like them and they hated them so bad that they went on to my wife's channel, figured out where the where the stepmom got the recipe, went on to the channel and made a comment about how much they hate canned salmon. <laughs> you know what's funny? I bet the stepmom and the dad loved it. I bet they thought it was just fantastic because it's good. Typical middle-aged boomer who doesn't have a clue what's going on in the world. Um, well, we're not really boomers because boomers had to, were born before 1965. And I was born in 1966. My wife was born in 1969. So we're not uh, baby boomers. Here's one. It just calls it a diabetes cake. <laughs> it's diabetes cake. I think we'll go back and change the name of the Hershey's chocolate syrup cake to the diabetes cake. For maximum enjoyment, roll up a big fat joint 
and pass it around first in 70s style. <laughs> Look, do not. Don't roll up a big fat joint and smoke it and take with a Hershey's chocolate syrup cake and start eating it. You will get... <laughs> It is, that, you can only eat a little bite of it. Everybody should understand that. So don't don't smoke marijuana and then try to. Uh, that that would be a bad idea. Um, this is funny. Holy diabetic coma, Batman. See now that's funny. Holy diabetic coma. You're saying what you want to say, but it's humorous. I might I'll leave that comment on there because I'm giving you credit for you know telling your opinion, but in a funny way. You're not hurting anybody's feelings. Good job. Good. Good trolling right there. Uh, remember, if you're going to troll somebody, try to have a little bit of humor. Uh, don't throw in words like gross, uh, yucky, nasty, that, you know. I don't go back and forth with any of them. So if you're looking for some dialogue, um, I'm not going to dialogue with you. Uh, sorry about that part. If you're just looking to be seen uh, and you want your comment to stay on, uh, tips, you know, those are some tips for you. So anyway, you guys have a good day. Happy trolling. Nichols Retirement Empire.